All right, what was going on here? A next lesson is on food. So, well, well, good morning to you. Thank you for your contributions. History class is ordinarily a bit slow paced for the children's taste. That last lesson may have been the first time I've seen them enjoying a history lecture so much. Our next class is a home economics lesson. Naturally, you're free to see it. And again, if the subject interests you. Today's lecture is on home economics. Food is essential for survival. A keen culinary sense can help you stay alive in this perilous world. I'd like to put a question to you all. What dish do you get by mixing gourmet spice with Hylian rice and raw meat? I don't think I bought a gourmet spice. Ah. Gourmet spice is the hot stuff they sell in Gorm City in, in the northeast, right? Uh, if it's got gourmet spice in it, the answer can be anything but curry. But the only thing in it is raw meat, right? So obviously, the answer has to be meat curry. Yes, that's correct. The one might have been on the simple side for all of you. How about this one then? The gourmet spice, Hylian rice, and mixing monster extract. What do you get then? Monster what? Uh, aren't monsters parts only used for medicines? Ha! Yeah, if try to cook with monster parts, it's a disaster every time. Uh -huh. No one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I call trick question. <gasps> hey, hey, settle down, children. Uh, this lesson may be too advanced. In fact, combining monster extracts, corn spice, and Hylian rice makes monster curry. But judging from your skeptical faces, you won't believe me unless I can put a dish of it in front of you. Hmm. I'd love to make some curry for them, but I don't have any monster extract. Oh, good, so I don't need the others. I'm told that it can be had in Terrytown, up north in Akala. Okay, I do have. Uh, the other day, I told the class that the only use for monster parts is to brew medicine. Today's lessons about monster extracts may have been confusing for them. Yeah, how do we get monster extracts? Do you just squeeze a monster till all its liquids go into a bottle? I wish I could make some real monster curry with gourmet spice and rice. Okay, so I do have to make it all. It is believing after all. Unless right now I'm out of monster extract. I have. I have. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I don't think I have this spice. Okay, give me them all. Ah! I will take them all. Oh. Mm, do I have? No. Let's ah. get some cane sugar. When boiled with other ingredients, the cane breaks down into sweet juice necessary for making cakes and other sweets. It's commonly found in ingredient stores. Oh. I didn't read the, the other one. Gorm spice made from several types of spices. This secret gorm seasoning has been handed down for generations. An initial wave of spiciness paves the way for the sweetness. Spices. Uh, no, no, not sit, but cook. Oh. Monster curry. A oh, nice plate. This unusual take on curry uses monster extraction and doesn't rely on only on spices. Now let's get the... I probably don't have unless somebody gave it to me. But let's make a, a meat curry like the other one. Mm, prime meat curry. The high quality meat in this curry has given a, a it a deeper taste than most other curries. Ah, it's actually different from a regular meat curry. What if I use common one? Could this be a new recipe as well? Meat curry. 
The heat from the spice allows you to enjoy the large portion of the meat's savoriness. Ah, those two counts different recipes. Not just a variation with better meat. So I'm watching our lesson on home economics. You take garn spice, and rice, and mixing monster extracts, what do you get? The teacher is confused again. Mr. Simi, you're the one who taught us that monster parts should only be used for medicine. Yeah, if you try to cook monster parts, it's a disaster every time. No one would incur in my culture request, the same thing. I'm going to get through them. Spicy Saints is familiar. I have the curry. This is monster curry, the genuine article. A class, come and see here. This curry was prepared using monster extract. The color looks a little off. Oh, but it tastes better than I expected. Oh, oh you're right. It doesn't have that monster musk I was worried about. Hmm. So if you extract something special from monsters, you can use that for cooking. <laughs> Delicious. <gasps> That's right, everyone. Ordinarily, monster parts are only to be used in medicine, but monster extracts can be used in meals as well. I'm so happy that my lesson on the subject has finally sunk in. Thank you so much. See those solemn expressions on their faces? The children have matured a bit with today's lesson. You might not think yourself a teacher, Link, but you've already taught them a great deal. I'm not much good at history, but you made it fun, Mr. Link. That wasn't hi history anymore. And the curry tasted great. I pretty much think of you as my teacher already, anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Link. I can't wait for our next lesson with you. <laughs> You're a hit with the students, too. You've earned the right to use the school's field I couldn't before. That's the one behind the schoolyard. Oh, I didn't check there. Space limited, so you can't plant an entire farm back there. But you can use, but we use what we have to cultivate whatever we like. Woman typically tends the field. Why don't you talk to her to get things set up? Cool. Next time I'm planning a test that will cover everything we studied up to now. Uh, you're welcome to sit in anytime. I hope you stay involved with our classes here. Okay, can we get the next one? Oh. Thank you for making Monster Curry for the children. I'm sure they remember it well since it was such a hands-on experience. You know, a teacher's job extends beyond the classroom. No matter when or where, if you see children, you have a responsibility to them. <clears throat> Excuse me, but... Oh. <clears throat> Class in session now. If you need to talk, please do after we finished. Alright. Uh, I was one of the old ladies. No, I think there's the one here. Ah, no. It's probably this one. Ah, come along nice. Hi. Okay, you're a woman. Hello there. Oh, well, I wonder when you'd be by. Sammy said we should uh, ask you what you're planning in this here plot. You know, as thanks for helping out with the school. You showed up just when I was finishing the prep work for it. I could grow pumpkins, carrots, tomatoes, wild berries, wheat, rice, or melons. I think wheat would be the best one. Here. I kind of have to forage them, so... Yeah, melons I'll probably find plenty in the desert. And rice I can find them easily to buy. Yeah, I think wheat I haven't found yet. You bring me one of those, I extract the seeds and plant them for you. For the side, I should admit one thing. I have more experience with some crops than others. I don't know too much yet about raising Andro carrots and hardy radishes. You have to forgive me if the yield on those ends up a little lower than the rest. Ah, so better things I it will bless. Okay, once I got wheat, I gotta come back here. Ah. I suppose it's raining, but that's what's that, your gardener? Let's talk about what you like to grow. But can I change afterwards? Take your time, I'm in no hurry to get planning. 
I'll probably be able to collect them and play another thing, especially because some grow slower than others. But I don't want to risk it. So I'll wait for me to get some wheat. I'm not needing anything right now, so... Just talk to me whatever you decide on what we're growing here. I work hard to get food ready, so it's pretty exciting thing about it being ready for planning. Okay, that's the one I'm gonna do now. What can we get here? now oh is that floating there uh. damn it I lost track of the other things ah no the current huh okay it is good to make a bit stop here Okay, let's keep following. No. Yeah. There he is. To me. Whoa, who are you? You know what? I don't care. If we're here, then I'm saved. Uh, I've been stuck here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? <sighs> it really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Lurney Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up, and I tried to shout and escape, but I it got shut in. Yeah, things were pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. The bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's gonna bode well for business. Here, this for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. Oh, good. Ah. I really own you. A little rewards, the least I can do. Mm. Alright, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fresh, some fish of me. <laughs> oh, this isn't time to play the better. Huh? Anyway, thanks again, and so long. That's good as well. Uh, ah, the bottle vanished.
Alright, but now I think I'm going to show even tight season here. And now off we go. Ah, I thought those were construct uh, lasers when they're scouting around. Zami, who, uh, who, Mister, you must have a death wish to make your way to this island. Uh, you heard the rumors, right? No. Oh, maybe I should have. Lurling, maybe. Uh, they said these were the parts of that attacks Lurling village hideout. Oh, I don't really want to skip part of the quest. I mean, I sure don't want to be here. But I'm on a mission to locate the first hideout for the monster control crew. From what I've seen, this island has three monster strongholds. Uh. Hmm. I do think the parts hideout is somewhere on this island. But I can do a full search with those strongholds my way. Ah. <sighs> Uh, I want to finish my scouting and go home already. If only those monster strongholds weren't there. Yeah, we tried. Um, that didn't replace the previous quest to that. Village tech pirates. Okay. I think I'm gonna go there first and wait for them to tell me to come here. I like to follow things in order. When I'm not required to. Yeah, if I stick around up. Probably stumble upon something of the, from the quest. Well, since I'm here already, let's uh, place a uh, teleport here. If I collect. Uh. I could place here. Oh no, yeah, then I could place anywhere in the map. Yeah, okay. That isn't. Just so I check around. No. Oh. Hang on. Uh. Oh, damn it. Can I drop this? Uh. Uh. Oh. Does it work? I'd like to see if there was any light route around. But apparently not. Okay, so let's leave it. Let's report back to Pura. See if she points me to Lurling. Hmm. Hmm. And then we this connection. Pursuers remain region. Uh, I'm concerned about the other place. What other village? Hmm. The f it's a fishing village called Lurling Village on the southeastern edge of Haru. The village is currently overrun by pirates. Some villagers fled, while well, some stayed put, so they're scattered all over. Hmm. I feel like I should keep a closer watch on that village, but it's far away, so news from there to here doesn't travel quickly. If you want more info, <gasps> talk to Atmos, blah blah blah, monster control crew. Uh, okay. Hmm. They're in the region, yeah, you'll point me to the girl the region. Oh, actually, see some here. Let's go to the ferry. Oh yeah, now we're going to the far region. Let's see the rumored beasts. 
Uh, I should probably cross over here. Oh. Stop aiming at that. Damn it. There, there. Good boy. There. No, no, it's okay. It's alright. Can I carry you? I can't. Okay, but I can drag you around. I can drag you around. Good. Oh. Oh, no! Ah. Um, but I don't want to go through Haru Field. And I haven't even spoken to you. Oh. Mas, what is it? You sure seem to ask about something. Are you headed the way too, buddy? Oh. Looking for the Olympic stable? I should tell you about something serious that's happened there. Some ruins fell from the sky and they landed right on the bridge that crosses this to the stable. The bridge has been destroyed. A disaster disaster measures have been put into effect near there, but it's not completely safe, so be careful. Oh yeah, I could have just built a bridge and crossed with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it would be cool if we could equip those to the horse. On the knight's armor, maybe, or something. Okay, how do we cross you to the other side? It's you, I don't remember you. The Master of Underpaint's Excellence. Uh, uh, the one who showed us all how to achieve more wearing less. Thank you for your help with all that. Uh, what? My new outfit. Uh, so you were one of the guys from the survey team. I've always been a stylish person. A real cutting edge sort. Not to toot my own horn. I joined the Zonai survey team purely because I thought their outfit was so unfashionable that... It'd be fashionable. <laughs> but the whole underpants the bacon made me realize I'm not cut out to be a server of ruins. <laughs> See, I have reinvented myself yet again. Unfashionable fashion is so less here anyway. True chic never goes out of style. Now, I'm looking for a certain thing near here that I think would make quite a fashion statement, so I hope. I'm also the sole person looking for it, and that makes me the one and only member of the fashion survey team. Would it be there? But anyway, I gotta bring my horse here first. Okay, maybe. Horse. Okay. It seems good. Come on, horse, let's go. I believe in you. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Promising. Okay, even if I break this, I'm pretty sure you can swim. Yeah! Nice. Who is this person? It's a silent shroom. Hi! <laughs> Dorich. Hello. Uh, have you heard about one of Nekluda's specialties, the silent shroom? It's easier to find those <laughs> sneaky little mushrooms in the dark. If you manage to get your hands on one, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And get this, eating one makes you move more quietly. 
of course, I'd expect nothing less from something called a silent shroom. They are a must if you are hiding or fleeing at night. Uh, come take a look. I'm sure you need some marvelous, miraculous mushrooms. Mm. You have others. And this no. Come back whenever you have the need for the finest mushrooms Haru has to offer. Uh, let's check this place up. Oh wow! One right on the surface like that. So close to people and nobody noticed. Allow me to guide you. Welcome. On this lane sits the sacred shrine entrusted to me. I believe my destiny was nullified when this lane fell to the surface. Uh, it was therefore fortunate that I fell to this precise spot. I can still fulfill my task. Uh, what is the task? To give visitors in this lane particular words of guidance. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine will appear. Heed these words and offer keys to all three altars to revert, reveal the sacred sacred shrine. Keys born of water. I could pass time over here. Give keys born of water to the three altars. Am I supposed to just... Yeah. No, I expect something would happen there. Uh, some item that I get from water. I don't think it would be that. Mm, probably not. Ah, uh, maybe a fish. Uh, got plenty of those. Ah. No, yo, that wasn't what I wanted. Ah, it's an altar, so maybe. Hey, where are you taking my fish? It's an altar, so maybe I have to place above it. No, I ex would expect something to happen. When? On each one, when I got it right. Okay, do you have some hints? Okay, guide me. My test to guide visitors were the sacred shrine with these words. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The secret. Water can sometimes change its form. My, I hope my meaning is clear. Okay, so I am supposed to use the frost. Hang on. Yeah, that's from not yet, but I haven't tried that yet. We can freeze that. I don't quite get it. You don't have anything about that. Oh. Uh, it's the purveyor of underpants excellence. Incredible that Haru is so full of paths, yet ours continues to cross. A fashion will life through the world one. What else? Seek treasures hidden across Haru by the fashion pioneer Misko. Mm. Some bandits take jewels, but Misko took the highly fashionable clothes. One piece of their treasure is hidden in a cave nearby. I'm really curious, but I can't see the cave. Please don't tell me it's at the top of the cliff. Is that another one? Ah, that's another one. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. You wouldn't be like Hydromelon, right? I think it should be something I have in my inventory. I just have to offer it. And probably even get back afterwards. I, I won't break that, will I? I will. 
No, let's ju let's just drop that. Ooh. Be careful, horse. Okay, that isn't it. Keys. Like the bats. Keys. Keys born of water. That can't be it. Let's try it here. No. I don't think that's it, but yeah. I don't know, man. I'll think about it. Proxim Bridge to Olympic Stable. Oh! What? What's that? I don't think she should have taken that. Educate this moment to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Uh, so like the one over Hateno Fort. Is this the right path to that tower? Whoa! Oh, of course. Why not? That's it. Oh. No. Just an old pop. Another bow. And some clumps. This would be helpful. Ah, okay. This is helpful for me to get out from down there. Maybe even get there. Oh, I didn't see you yet. Let's see the cork and then we'll go to the wells. Yo. I could use the cork. Seriously, you missed it. Uh, can I cut that? Uh, let's check it. Village or is north one?
I thought this would be heavy. Ah, this is where other well would take me. But this one isn't marked yet. Ah. Almost there. Come on, it's almost there. Yeah. Ah. No. Damn it.
Okay, and what about that? Is that the other? Hmm. There may be a well up there. Uh, yeah, this is connected to wells, so there may not be a. There's probably not a frog in here. There is another well. Oh. There's just nothing when I get here. 